Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video on a build guide. So, uh, you know, in this video, we are going to talk about the build of a legendary character, and the name of that legendary character is Brainiac. Yes, guys, Brainiac. so uh, we're going to talk about that. You know, so basically, we had a challenge, we have a challenge currently for Brainiac, and I thought that maybe people are, you know, kind of unlocking the character or you know, maybe even trying to build it. So it's a good idea to, you know, make a video on a build guide of Brainiac. So as you can see on your screens that I have a build Brainiac, it's almost all the gears are on level 60 except for this one, which will be there eventually in a couple of days, not more. Uh, but yes, I have built Brainiac. It's just a matter of time to take these gears to level 70 and he will be in the right shape that he needs to be in the uh, for the game. So, uh, you know, before we start uh, the video, you know, I just wanted to let you know that if you are new to the channel and if you are watching this video for the first time, I would like to tell you to please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell notification for further updates on videos just like this. Okay, guys. So, uh, you know, this uh, character, Brainiac, he is uh, a tech legendary character, as you can see, and he is basically a tank and a support character for other legendary characters you know so uh, you know i'm not going to give you a review or talk about how to you know basically use the character because this video is a build guide not a gameplay video or we're not going to review the character but you know i just wanted to give you a quick uh, overview that uh, this character is best used used with other legendary characters because it increases the stats and the best character that we use this guy with is uh, Black Manta. So the best team to use uh, Brainiac in is Black Manta, Brainiac, and uh, you know just to increase uh, the uh, health, people use uh, Silver Green Lantern, and the shield basically helps a lot. So you can do that. So these are the three characters that basically are there in the team. So at this particular moment, all the passives of this character are almost maxed out. I'm gonna max them out right now. So. Uh, you know, and there, there is one more thing, guys, that I have pasted all the stats and uh, every detail about the gears, effects, and the talents that you need to put exactly in the description. So if you are in a hurry, you just want to you know, take a look at the stats and everything, you just go down there in the description and everything will be there for you. But let's start off the video. Let's start off the build guide with the talents. So I have yet to unlock uh, the seven slot. But I have currently unlocked all the six, which is basically, you know, what we need. And uh, so uh, the talents should be pretty much basic. You know, it's three defense talents and three resistances. That's what I have over here. One resistance, two. Re this one is an epic one. Two resistance, and this is the third one. And there is one defense, two defense, and there is this fourth, def uh, third defense over here. Now, it's just that I don't have rare or epic uh, effects or talents over here. Uh, which will happen eventually now you guys all know how irritating it gets when you you know basically try to reroll the talents and try to get the right uh, talent in that particular slot so i'm trying my best i still have a few a lot of credits actually i can uh, you know use them to uh, get these uh, common talents out and get in the rare or if i'm lucky even epic one but the basic idea about talents is it's simple three defense stats three defense talents and three resistance it could be it is this one 8% and then there is this 12% and then the epic one is uh, 20 and the same goes for defense it increases as the uh, rarity of the talent increases all right guys now we're going to move on into the gears section of uh, the character so as you can see all, almost all the gears are at level 60 so you need to have two lethal attack chance okay i think i have uh, yeah there we go i have two lethal attack chances over here one defense okay i think i have more than one defense on this character which i will obviously change and then after that you need to have 12 health stats 12 health effects so let me show it to you this is the first one this is defense first defense and uh, the only defense that we need and these are two that makes three healths and i think i have uh, three more defenses unfortunately which i would have to remove after the video 
There is three again, which makes it six. There is another defense, seven, eight, eight health effects. Nine, ten, eleven. So if I remove that one defense stat, one defense effect, and I replace it with health, then my build will be complete. Now the only issue over here with my build is that I have most of the health effects are common. You know, I need to basically reroll it a lot, you know, to get it all rare. And when that happens, this guy is gonna be a beast. It's he's still a beast, you know. Let me show you the stats, like how they look. So 3000 attack. We don't really need attack when you're building a tank. 60,400 health. Now that is a lot. You know, even with common effects, it is definitely a lot of health on Brainiac. Trust me. You know, this guy is basically a tank. He can uh, basically take a lot of damage now. And uh, there is no need to add any lethal. I'm sorry. Fast attack chance. And uh, the defense is there already. Blocking is not important. You know, because uh, the guy like this, even if he misses or, you know, if he takes one special attack, I'm not talking about the special move though. Uh, he can survive, you know, because 60,000 health is a lot of health. Now, you know, apart from that, so basically, as I said, guys, in the beginning of the video, you need to, uh, this character is mostly used for supporting legendary characters. And, uh, and the reason why, let me show it to you. It's mentioned in uh, the passives. Yeah, there we go. Brainiac grants himself all legendary heroes and summoned teammates increased attack and health they also receive an additional percentage of brainiac's lethal attack chance and lethal attack damage so basically on and all the gameplay should be that you need to you know basically perform a lot of special ones then and stack it up to 400 percent now this is 34 percent on each strike and when i move it over here and above that to 70 percent this goes on to 40 percent and then you would have to do 10 special ones to max out the stats and when that happens, you can tag in the other legendary character and, uh, you know, you can start doing the damage with uh, Black Manta. This is basically how the gameplay goes. And uh, yeah, I mean, you know, this is basically, you know, one of those characters that will be tanky and also assist. He, he is basically a tank and a support. You know, so that is what I'm going to try to. And that was exactly what I was trying to you know explain you guys. And uh, so, yeah, uh, once again, guys, the stats, everything else is mentioned in the description. Uh, this uh, basically build that you're watching is a level gear level 60 build except for this piece of gear uh, the stats that i've mentioned in the description are gear level 70 stats so just a little bit increased from this particular stats so um, yeah i mean you know if you so i guess yeah that is it for today's video guys if you enjoyed it give it a like and let's meet again in the next build guide all right guys so thank you once again you guys take care of yourselves be blessed and have a good one